Hi everybody, this is Steve and Angela. Looks like springtime is just about to take off. Some of the uh, trees are budding out. This is my buddy right here. His name's Bama Jack. He's a little bit camera shy. You turn on the camera and he'll hide. This is the tent, the way we've got it fixed up right now. This is a six meter bell tent by White Duck. We've got a, a complete table, television, queen size bed, the uh, couch that we're uh, sitting on right now and a little cabinet with all of our stuff in it and a coffee maker. I will tell you what's coming real soon. I am building a outside kitchen right behind where I'm sitting here for us to cook all this summer. And I'm really excited about that and uh, hope that it turns out good. I'll be making a video of I'll do it. I'm just gonna do it by uh, uh, the seat of my pants. Just start building it and see where it goes. And I'm sitting here just looking out at the pond and, and uh, taking it easy with my buddy, Mr. Bama Jack. He's our buddy right here. I could never ask for a better dog. If you don't own a boxer, you ought to get you one. He's a good young man. I wanted to show you, if you watched any of my other videos and I've had to replace the center pole that goes up to the top, I have replaced the center pole and I did use the wood from Lowe's. And all it is is a handrail that would go up the stairs. They're pre-made and they're real straight and strong. And uh, uh, it worked perfect. I did cut this at about 11 foot and a half inches. But looking at the sides on the outside of the tent, I'm still going to say that it's... Uh, maybe an inch to an inch and a half still too tall. They had it at almost 11 foot, four inches from the factory, two inches higher than what they say it is. And what that done was the sides was drawn inward because the top was pulled upward. So I've lowered it a couple of inches and the sides are standing up a little bit better in deflecting water and they won't catch water in these windows quite as bad. But to fix the problem, I think here pretty soon, I'm gonna have to wash the tent. You can't tell, but it is getting dirty. Uh, maybe you can see it in spots. That's even with a rain fly. Now, one thing I'll tell you is that that's the problem I've been having ever since I bought the tent was, uh, it getting start with mold. See that right there? That brown, that all this up here on the top, it won't be long till that'll be solid black no matter what you do. And it's got a rain fly on it. So white fly, white duck has uh, completely stood up to their warranty and they have sent me a brand new tent. But I just don't have the help to put it up yet. I will be putting it up real soon and taking this one down. But before I take this one down, it has to be cleaned or it will be totally destroyed. Um, if anybody's got any ideas on anything better than what I know, and which I don't know that much, uh, I can't figure out how to stop this problem. It's got to be a way. Stop molding mildew. But anyway... That wasn't really what it was about. I was just showing you the tent. We love it. One thing I'll tell you, and I haven't touched on the carpet. This is a indoor outdoor rug from Lowe's on their cut section back in the back where they just roll it off of a big roll. Now what I've done was by this being 20 foot across, I got two 20 foot length rugs. I seen them together myself and done a pretty good job, and the seam is right there, and you can't really tell it. They make self-using self seam tape that doesn't have heat. It's just really, really sticky, and me and my wife put it together 
out on a big concrete slab where I could lay it all flat. Then we drawed a circle on the back side of it with a chalk 20 foot circle and cut it out with a razor blade. The cost of was that was like $370. And compared, if you look on eBay and other places, a six meter real good rug for a tent that is not seen together will cost you four to $500. So if you have one of these tents and you want a real good, durable, and uh, vacuum, I mean, you can vacuum mud off of it after it dries. It doesn't fade. It's got, it's made out of some type of plastic. I'll show you up close to it. See how it's made. So if you go to Lowe's looking for it, that is the real color. And that's what it looks like right there. We just love it. We've had this carpet down for a whole year and we have had zero problems with it. And uh, uh, which would keep it pretty clean. I vacuum it quite often just to make sure that uh, I don't trash it out in which we love our little tent. I hope you like our videos. Please hit like and subscribe. Uh, it helps me out if you do that. They uh, have got me on a year probation of making these movies to see if they're going to let me stay on. So I'm trying my best and I will give you better ones. When I start the kitchen in a couple of weeks, I'll be making some good videos of that and uh, it should be exciting. So please subscribe and uh, watch for the video. Bye-bye.